Hi guys, Jamsview here. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will do simple interior rendering I modeled in Archicad 24. I will put the download link in the description below. Ok then, let's start. First thing first, import the file. Then we are going to create our camera view, to do this. Go to media, create image. Go to camera settings, focal length 30, parallelism on. Then try to make sure to fix your camera view. Then adjust the near clipping to 1 meter. After that, go to media and click the refresh icon to update the view. For lighting settings. Go to environment and choose backdrop HDRI. Change height offset value to negative 4. Go back to lighting setting put sun intensity value to 1, ambient to 3, and exposure to 0.4. Adjust your camera view. Don't forget to click refresh icon to update the camera view. Now we will change the HDRI map. Go back lighting parameters, under environment click more. I will put the download link for the HDRI map. Rotate HDRI map around 75 degrees. For the output size, change width value to 3000 and height value to 3600. Now we're going to apply materials in our scene. For the floor pavement, go to Quixel Megascan tab. Under Stone, click Floor tab and select Stone Floor. Change reflection value to 70%. Apply the same material for the stairs. Change scale around 2.5. Change reflection value to 60%. Add grunge effect for both materials. For the upper floor slab, just apply wood and planks material and change reflection value to 75%. Apply same material for the small wall near the stair. For the wider wall, use wooden facade material. Change reflection value to 75% and add grunge around 70%. For the timber purlin, apply wooden planks material. Apply same material to the window frame. For the I-beam use brushed aluminum and adjust color materials to dark gray. Adjust also the stone material's darkness by dragging down the color to more black. For the exterior pavement, choose material from Quixel Megascan library and select stone. Under floor tab, select dirty herringbone pavers. Add grunge around 45%. Make the material more darker. Now, we're going to add some 3D assets from Quixel Megascan library. Under 3D assets, select props and click wood. Select wooden piece. 
place it near the stair and scale it. Under Props tab, select Old Wicker Basket Place on top of the wooden piece. Adjust Scale. See Preview. Nice. Under Interior Assets, click Furniture and select Seating. Look for Old Wooden Bench and place it beside the window and adjust Scale. Now, we're going to play some stone wall near our building. Go to Nature tab, click Rock tab and select Quarry. Under Quarry tab look for the third quarry cliff. Rotate and move it near the wall. Now, we're adding some vegetation in our scene. Add some falling ivy. You can find it under Vegetation and Landscape tab and select Miscellaneous. Just place it randomly in the wall and rock. Just follow the workflow for the remaining vegetation. Place it around the building so it would cast some shadow in our scene. Now, put the dining set in our scene. You can download it from Threed Warehouse. I will put the download link in the description below. Place it in the center. For the table egg, adjust reflection value around 70% and 60% for for table wooden material. For the wooden chair use walnut veneer texture under wood surface from Quixel Megascan tab. Adjust reflection value around 70%. Change chair cushion material to leather backside. Check the camera view and reposition the furniture if necessary. Place some candle holder on the dining table. Scale it little bit bigger. Add some corner plant in the stair. Just look for plant pot and select flower pot. Scale the flower pot.
change the darkness of the pot and add some reflection on it. Now, we're going to place some plants in the pot. Under 3D plants, select meadow and click boxwood. Choose the bode 09. Tech preview. Move your camera view to show your plant in the back of the table. Rescale your flower pot so it will have a better view of the camera. Now, import the pendant lamp. I will also put the download link from 3D Warehouse in the description below. Place it in the center of the view. Change gizmo location to the center of the object. Scale the pendant. To do this, you need to expand the pendant lamp folder and select all the objects under the pendants tab. Place it above the table. You need to place the pendant lamp holder on the ceiling. For the pendant rod, scale only by dragging up the z-axis. Now duplicate the pendant. See preview, good. In the camera tab, go to visual effects and click filter. Then select line light. As you can see it creates some light detail in the scene. Go back to visual effect tab. Under color gradient, select beauty 3. Reduce the saturation value to 41%. For the renderer settings. Change sample per pixel value to 1000, max bounces to 20, and aliasing filtering to 1. Export image. For post-production, open your file using Photoshop. Duplicate image or just use short key Ctrl J. Go to filter and select camera raw. Adjust temperature about negative 4. Clarity around positive 31. For shadows, white and black tab, input value around positive 25. Then click OK. I think this already enough for post-production, but if you want to go more on dynamic effect. 
duplicate again the image. Make it to gray by hitting the Ctrl Shift U at the same time. Go to Filter and click Filter Gallery. Select Stylize Glowing Edges. Adjust Glowing Edges Parameters. Click OK. I adjust the level by hitting Ctrl L for shortcut key. For this option, I have more control on intensity and brightness. Just drag the two opposite nodes. Now, change the layer option to soft light and change opacity to 45%. That's all guys. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks.